افغانستان اسلامی مارت در ریاست الوزراء د اقتصادی مرستیال په حیث قراردادی شرکت د پره همکاری اتمنان ورکوم طول آروان در دولتی او حکمتی داری به د قراردادی شرکت سر د چارو پر مخبیولو کی خرم رست کوی اوز با افغانستان لده پاک خاوره نا مگو تا ستیل روزی مساحت دی دیز مکی سی قرارداد سوی دل دی کمپنی سرا سی فک کمپنی دی دی چنائی کمپنی سرا سی قرارداد سوی مساحت دی چلور نیم زر کلومتر مرابع چلور نیم زر کلومتر مرابع زخیره دی تیلو تسبیت شده مگو تاشل رو دا غیر دل اغو ساخونه شغا پاتی دی The Armandaria oil project is an important project of practical cooperation between China and Afghanistan. Over the past year, the relevant departments of Chinese and Afghanistan governments have implemented the high-level consensus between the two sides and made a lot of efforts to steadily restart the project. Talking about the South China Sea has long been a, a sticking point in bilateral relations, but you said repeatedly that they should not define our relationship. Um, what is the latest regarding bilateral consultation on maritime disputes? Well, right now we have these const we constantly have a, 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 um, a communication, but it is not so formalized. And that's perhaps one of the things that I would like to propose in this trip to your president. I intend to propose to bring it to a higher level so that both sides have a direct conversation and a direct link to their presidents, my officials to, my, to me, and Chinese officials to the president, President Xi. And that way, we, do not, we can avoid any possible misunderstandings, any possible mistakes, uh, it is uh, to make sure that uh, uh, not, not to aggravate the situation, but to calm things down. Yeah, both sides express the willingness to jointly explore uh, maritime resources, such as natural gas and oil, but the devil is in the details, right, Mr. It's President? All, yeah. uh, it's all in the details, and uh, there are sticking points too. Um, any progress regarding maritime uh, joint exploration on natural gas and oil, perhaps? We are moving forward. We, we continue to, to explore what other, what other arrangements can be made. Uh, the sticking point came uh, simply because of the application of law, which law, Philippine law or Chinese law will apply uh, in the area where we are doing the exploring. I, I, I hope that that can be overcome and we can, find, uh, we can find another way so we can continue to explore uh, the natural resources in the South China Sea uh, together or singly or in uh, whatever other arrangement. But it's very important, especially for the Philippines, um, because we are now um, trying to move our energy mix from traditional sources to renewables. And uh, the interim to that is probably going to be natural gas. Talking about geopolitics, Mr. President, um, there have been a number of Washington-led initiatives which Beijing considers thinly veiled China containment institutions, mm -hmm. such as IPAF on the economic side and AUKUS and Quad on the security side. Uh, how necessary do you consider these institutions in this day and age? Well, uh, it's... Uh I guess a response uh, from the Americans for what they see. Uh, the Philippines, uh, again, has a very simple foreign policy. It's a foreign policy that, commi that commits itself to peace and that is uh, guided by the national interest. And that national interest dictates that we, are, we will not allow ourselves to be drawn back into the old Cold War formula where one has to take sides. The only side I'm on is the Philippine side. Uh, Fair so, enough. <laughs> very, very simple. And, uh, and I think that's a, that, that, that is a good guide. There's a very famous African saying that when the elephants fight, 
the only one that the only one that loses is the grass. We might be the grass. We do not want to be in that position.美国政府六日宣布对乌克兰第二十九波安全援助计划三十七点五亿美元，提供N2布莱德雷步兵战车、火炮系统、装甲运兵车和地对空飞弹等。此外，这波援助也包含补充支持乌克兰的欧洲
今天如果他是在中国发病呢，依照我们现在知道中国有这么多的阳性，住院也治疗床位比较不足，或者是医疗量能不足的状况下，他应该在中国应该是。可以说是死路一条啦，应该是很难活下来。那他现在刚好回来台湾啦，那我们当然就尽力治疗啦。中国疫情相当严峻，因为严重肺炎的患者快速增加，医疗量能已经不足。有学者甚至预估，中国这波疫情下将有超过百万人死亡。苏一峰认为，以目前中国大陆 B F 点七变种的疫情看来，病毒演化出来的毒性是增强了。演化到 BA 五之后呢，又发现它对肺部的侵犯能力又加强了。那最近的 BF 七呢，其实也有待后续的数据啊。不过目前看大陆的一些资料看起来，好像重症的比例也可能跟 BA 五一样，或者更高一点啦、啊。变种病毒来势汹汹，对此台湾严阵以待。针对中国入境的旅客，启动全面脱衣 PCR 筛检五天以来，阳性率平均为百分之二十一。指挥中心目前研判，阳性率可能都会在这个范围。新唐亚太电视林家伟、黄燕玲，台湾台北报道。